for that green flag. There it is. Signal to the starter that the sequence can begin. So can Kyle Clues, who's been the man so far in the first two rounds this year, can Jack Perkins get on top? The Toyota has got a great jump towards turn one. Beautiful reaction from Jack Perkins. Kyle runs with him, though, and Bryony made mention of the bumps. Check them out into turn one. These things will leap and dance. Jack's got a half-car advantage. Clues back down the inside to turn two. And he'll get the lead back. He's been the man to beat the championship in the recent past. Series leader at the moment. See each of them trying to crowd through turn two. And now, who do you go with? Do you go with the guys on the inside? Do you go to the outside? Or do you make it three wide? Look for Adam Gowans down the inside, the blue and silver card. Nice work under brakes to second and up the inside to first. Has he outbraked himself? The answer to that question is emphatically yes. Wardy's up the inside though and a change for the lead. So we've made it to three quarters and already a bunch of placings change. And this is the guy I don't want to be. Rob Thompson's got our in-car camera. He's in the middle of it all. He's a brave man. And that was, by the looks of things, Jack Perkins made some contact with Kyle Clues down at turn three. Rob's off to the Nürburgring to do the 24-hour race in a couple of weeks. So there's a contrast. Queensland Raceway and an Aussie race car. Here comes Clues once again. Up on the inside at turn six. Nicely positioned. Out brakes beautifully. Puts a car length on him as we've got one wide and in the dirt down there at turn three. Tony Gowans Martin. into second place. Tony Martin is the car that is down in the gravel. Hasn't stopped the boys racing out in front. Gowans down the inside on Kyle Clues. Ward. Trying to go three wide to turn one. Look at the bumps. He just has to back out of it there. Nice job, Adam Gowans. So through turns one and two on the second lap, and all of them just dancing to the tune of a little bit of oversteer through turn two. Rocks flying. Clues now back on the inside. These cars get a genuine aerodynamic advantage being tucked under the back of another car. And those couple of hundred revs wouldn't even be that much. Those little sniff of extra revs does make the difference. You dive out from underneath the rear wing. There's Phil Ward in the silver car. Bing, you grab a spot. But uh, don't bet the house on it because 10 seconds later, you've lost the game that you just made. And how was Gowan's under brakes at three? He's unbelievable. But just when you think I'm going really well, next corner, he's lost the lead. Yokohama tyres on these cars. It's a grooved slick. And they're a very, very good little tyre when it comes to being punished and recovering. So you'll see the guys locking up. You see them recover from it. You see them slide and glide on the rear brake. They get away with it. Ward back down the inside on Gowans to take second spot. And now he hones in on Kyle Clues. And these cars, they only weigh about 450 kilograms. So they're a very light machine. They're about a third the weight of a V8 supercar. Now, I don't know what happened to Jack Perkins, but if you're wondering, the former V8 supercar star is back in the pit lane and out of business. So, Brad Ward's gone to the lead now in the Toyota. Kyle Clues, Adam Gowans. Kyle in the orange and blue car, that's Adam in the blue and silver car, and James Ward in fourth. You never need to look too far in this category to spot a Ward. They're all over it at the front of the field. Simon Smith in car 95, just behind, there he is in the Falcon, he's joined in. Adam Gowans locked the rear brakes into turn three then, the thing got sideways, he had to come off the pedal a little bit to grab it and correct it. Now there's a yellow flag down there at turn three for the Tony Martin car, which is in the sand, so that takes away Adam Gowans' best passing chance, that's where he's been grabbing them all. Problem, and Adam's got a drama there, I reckon he couldn't upshift for some reason, and he lost a couple of spots on the way out. So Clues back to the lead. Brad drops into second. Gives you an idea of the gaps in this field. And all the way down to basically position 30, it's game on. So Adam Gowans, the big loser in all that process, now he's recovering. I reckon he just found a neutral on the way out of turn three. He's got himself going, and Phil Ward's ranging into this as well. There he is in the silver car. He's back at about sixth or thereabouts at the moment. And the thing is, we've only done three laps, and there's been... Unbelievable amounts of action. This was Gowan's turn three, locked up. And that was the contact that uh, Jack Perkins made, and he faded on the run down the next straight. So, so that's where that all started. Yeah, and it's broken something as a result of that. And uh, Jack's parked in the pit lane at the moment. 
Kong Luz leads the way. It's round three of the Aussie Racing Car Super Series at Queensland Raceway. But look at them. They're lined up in a freight train. There's lots more action to come. Back on race day extra with the Aussie Racing Cars. And Kyle Flues continues this fight. But he's got a couple of brothers, Brad Ward and James Ward, who are wanting to stop the championship leader. Fastest car on the road is Reese Newman in car 10. He's back in 13th, but he's gaining ground and moving through. But it's like a wall when you get to this top 10. Some great racing etiquette on here. There's Phil Ward, the category owner. He's up to fifth, I think it is now. <laughs> But uh, by the time you sit here and scratch your head and think about it, it's changed a couple of times. Now, Clues has run wide at six. Brad Ward sneaks up the inside, grabs the lead again. Some great racing etiquette. Everybody giving each other a bit of space here and there. Adam has recovered. He's back in third. Brad's all over him as they make the run down to four. Leap and dance across the bumps. You can't cover too tight to the inside there. Adam the second. Kyle Clues massively sideways through one. Lost a bit of ground in that manoeuvre. Look at this, the exit of turn two. I've got to ask you, when you get into one of these cars, they're different from driving a car. Do you drive it with the same approach to a V8 or to other cars, or do you completely throw that out the window? Well, there are nuances with every different racing car. The beauty of them is you can drive them very, very hard under brakes. You can lean aggressively on the tyres, and there's space to race each other. So really, what happens is you just get on with your, your race face. You just absolutely lock into what you've got to do. You're focused on your car, trying to get the most out of it and keeping a weather eye on what's going on around you to try and squeeze us out, you know, every last little bit. So you don't have to be too kind to the car. I mean, you obviously can't break it and can't be silly, but you can basically drive it to its absolute maximum. Listen to that little Yamaha roaring. Those onboard shots with Thompson. As we look at the angry leader pack at the moment, Ward, Gowns, Clues, James Ward, all in this battle. Clues up the inside now to second. So you don't have to be as throttle sensitive as you might need to be with the V8 supercars that we'll see shortly. You don't need to be quite as concerned about looking after the tyres like you do with the bigger, heavier cars. Clues up the inside now, turn one. He's got track position. Look at Wardy's car on the outside there in the one. We saw the rear wheels literally hopping off the ground. Trying to match the cars to the road has been the real trick here. Brad has another look. And this racing action is exactly why, when I say the magic three words to you, Aussie racing cars, oh, you grin. Yeah, I do. I mean, I really do. They're, it's just such great purebred whoa, racing. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not pure purebred. Six. That wasn't too purebred. Christopher Bunt has a bit of a moment there at two. And this is on the run back down towards turn four. The only left-handers on this circuit. And we said the etiquette was OK. It wasn't that time. Darren Chamberlain ends up facing in the wrong direction. A few others take to the scenery. But this fight at the front, it is absolutely on. And Kyle Clues, even when you get to the lead, you can't break away. Gowns, nice move. Oh, oh. Three wide, turn four. Oh, Unbelievable. Out of Gowns, back to the lead. Not a bad recovery when you consider that just a couple of laps ago he couldn't get off turn three for whatever reason. Car number three there is James Ward, the Yokohama entry. He's back in fourth now. His brother's up on the outside of the final corner in second. And he's searching, up. hunting, looking every which way. Clues again on the inside. He's second. You just have to position yourself right now because one lap to go. Gowans is not going to get away. He will come back to them. They've got to not get too stuck in. Just suddenly flailing under the front there. He's knocked the lip off the front spoiler. He's got a couple of car lengths here over Kyle Clues, who's got Brad Ward, James Ward, Simon Smith, Phil Ward, and Peter Carr right with him. Tyler Owens up to eight. He started in 15th. It's not a bad act, is it? When you look at the margins between these fellas, anybody misses a gear, gets sideways, locks a brake, they lose immediate advantage. It's a shame about this yellow flag down here at three. It ruins, as you said before, Aaron, a great passing opportunity. Now, Adam's got a little break on them here. If he could just get a little further away, he starts to, what we describe as break the toe then, kind of get away with it, you might stay out there, but look at this, it does, you don't hold the advantage for long, he's punching a hole in the air, Kyle uses it to his advantage, bang, down the inside, out breaks him, and that all happened in the space of five seconds. And now Gowan's just got to get this run from turn five, 
because turn six, it's his last chance. You can get a run off there and beat the other car to the start-finish line, I've which is what he's got to do. The hard way a couple of times not to lead on the last lap. So we'll see whether it works out for Kyle here. Oh, a serious manoeuvre from Brad at turn six. It's been backwards and forwards. It's been intense as ever. But Kyle Clues is continuing on this form in Aussie race cars. He gets to the line. And in Aussie racing car terms, that's a big win. Two tenths. <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, boys. Another great show. Wonderful motor racing demonstration. Kyle Clues, Brad Ward, Adam Gowans, James Ward, Steve Smith, Phil Ward, the top six. Dead set, nothing in it. And that was a really great race. Clues Ward, Gowans Ward, one second covering the top five finishes at the line. Carl Owen and Newman rounding out the top ten in the Aussie race cars at Queensland Raceway.